Hey guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today we finally have a tour for you guys. If you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs, you would know that I've been renovating an apartment with my boyfriend Zane and um, it's been a crazy journey. If you haven't seen all the vlogs, I'll have them linked down below the playlist for them because it's been like over a month now. We're finally almost done. Almost, as you can see, I don't have a bedroom yet. So I figured I'd get some sort of tour up for you guys. So today we're gonna be doing a closet tour. Mm. Your girl has a shopping addiction. <laughs> I was gonna do closet and bedroom in one, but as you can see, we just built the frame yesterday, so um, th th that's gonna have to wait. Once everything is done, then I'll do a full apartment tour, but I feel like the closet is just like a space in its own, you know, that needs to just have its own video. So without further ado, here is my closet tour. Well, our closet tour, because now I share one with Zane. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can start off with the door as you walk in. This closet used to be like sliding mirror doors, and we actually kind of brought the wall out so that now the closet is twice as big, so you can see there's like a little lip here that was never there. It was just flat against that wall, so now we have a giant, bigger closet for the both of us, because there was no way we would have fit everything in the other one. This used to be a brown door. We painted it white, and then I got these knobs off of Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Only 10 bucks. Open it up and first things first on the back of the door we have our shoe rack and I have way too many shoes as does Zane has a lot of shoes as well but not as many as me so basically these are all my shoes except for these two these two are Zane's we've got his vans and my little vans so we've got matching shoes right there these are my Stan Smith's and then he also has his Stan Smith's over there but we'll get to that so yeah I don't want to go too crazy in depth I don't want to make you guys sit here all day but these are my Adidas what are these called tubular Adidas tubular Shadows? Jesus, I don't even know. Hey babe, what are these Adidas sneakers that I have called? Uh, I don't know. You don't know either? Wow, fail. Wait, on They're tubular shadows, right? Oh yeah. Yeah? It just says tubular on it, so I would say. Oh, they're tubular, dude. Good enough. Tubular, dude. <laughs> All right, so we got those. <laughs> and then we have my Converse, which these are my absolute favorite shoes ever. I wear them with freaking everything. If you're going to get one pair of shoes, I recommend Black High Top Converse. These are my Adidas Gazelles that are also another one of my favorite sneakers that I have destroyed because I wear them too much. And a bunch of other miscellaneous shoes that, whatever, we're going to move on. So moving on, this is our closet. So as I was talking about, the closet used to end right here. So there were doors right there and we extended it so that it's way bigger because <laughs> yeah, this whole bottom row is mine. That is Zane's. So I have way too many clothes. And while going through all my clothes, I got rid of so much. All these black hangers were full of clothes. So I ended up having to either donate them or sell them. I usually put stuff up on my Poshmark, if you guys didn't know, which if you don't know what Poshmark is, it's basically an app where you can sell your clothes. It's super helpful. I've been using it for a while. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I absolutely love it. It's super easy to use. And once you sell something they kind of just email you the shipping label and you put it on the package and send it it's really easy so I had to put a lot of stuff up on there which I'll show you guys a few pieces so that if you want to go shop my closet you can and if you want to use the code Alyssa Rose for five dollars off I'll have a link in the description to get to Poshmark and you'll get five dollars off your purchase when you sign up for the app just use the code Alyssa Rose and you're good to go so here are just a few pieces I have like way too much up on that app that I can't show you everything but I'll show you just a few and Bella wants to join first I have these super cute pants from Cosmo and on they are super super soft they're like this army green color they're perfect for fall they were just a little bit big on me I absolutely love them or I would keep them if they fit me right but they have like the tight fit at the ankle they're really flattering they tie at the top and they're like super comfy pants that I feel like you can dress up or dress down like you can dress them up with heels or dress them down with like sneakers and they would look cute so I've got those up on there and then we've also got these sweatpants by Victoria's Secret these are um, this is the back of them they got pink on the butt and then the front of them just has like the little dog on it that's a piece of fuzz not a stain but these are in super good condition. They fit really well. They're super flattering on the tush. Look really good on the tush. Everything that I have up on Poshmark, I would love and I would still wear. I just, you know what? It's, it's Sometimes it's time to just let go of stuff when you can't fit anything else in your closet. <laughs> this right here is a bomber from Forever 21. It's like a lightweight fit. And I wore this when I went to Amsterdam the first time and I freaking loved it. It's really good to layer up. And I've only worn it probably like three or four times. So you're getting a really, really good quality in good condition jacket it's got like zippers on the side it's really really cute and it's like a nice dark car 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 what and it's like a nice dark car, car why can't i say this charcoal gray love that 
And last but not least, I have this super thin, lightweight sweatshirt zip up from Pink. This is perfect for this season if you live in like somewhere with a warm climate because it's like a sweater that's good for like chilly days, like not New York chilly days, but like warm weather chilly days. It's super thin and lightweight, but it's really, really soft and comfortable. And I love this color. It's like a Tiffany blue. And this I also only wear like a few times, so it's in really good condition as well. And like I said, I have so much up on there that I cannot show you everything, but that's just the gist of it. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description like I said I'll have my um, closet down below and then also use the code Alyssa Rose for five dollars off when you sign up for the app okay so moving on as you can tell this is now a his and hers closet so I'll kind of briefly go through Zane's stuff he hasn't fully organized everything yet so his stuff I won't go in depth about but my stuff is organized as you can see I have those little things I love those so you can see that I use felt hangers and then Zane uses these kind of plastic hangers it's just our preference I guess I like these because my shirts stay on it it like holds them in place Zane likes these because his shirts go on them easily and they slip right on so I guess it's like a preference I don't know but we've got both of our hangers right there and then starting down here you guys can see that I have these dividers so uh, we got these from Amazon Zane actually got them for me and then they come with little stickers super helpful if you're like have way too many clothes like I do so the first category that we have here is jackets being that it's fall going into winter I just have my jackets first so that I feel like I can just grab them really easily this is a favorite of mine I got this from Marshall's so I don't think I'll be able to link it but I'll try my best it's from the brand YMI super soft and cozy this is like my heavy-duty winter jacket and then we've got this is also from Marshall's this is a Michael Kors. Ooh, baby. I might be selling this on Poshmark if I don't wear it. I feel like I haven't grabbed for it in a while, so this might be up on my Poshmark. We've got a North Face. We've got another Michael Kors. I don't buy these from the actual store, you guys. I get them from Marshalls. So they're so much cheaper there. This is like a lighter weight jacket. I know it looks kind of heavy, but it's like nice and thin. I love that jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets that I got last year at the end of the season on sale. This is from Boohoo, and it's their petite line, but it's like a big, let me just show you this. It's like a big kind of like pea coat. Oh my god, it's so nice. And if you're on the petite side, you know how hard it is to find jackets that fit right, are the right size and the right length on your arms, and they fit right on the shoulders. So the Boohoo Petite line is great. I'll have that link down below. And then we've got a bunch of other miscellaneous jackets, a bunch of jean jackets. This is one of my favorites from Forever 21. Just a black distressed jean jacket can go with everything. And yada, 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 a bunch of jackets. This section doesn't have a label on it yet. Well, it does have a label. I just need to buy a Sharpie and write on it because I don't want to write on it with pen because then it won't match everything else very well but this is gonna say new on it because I have a tendency of buying new stuff and then forgetting what I have so I'm gonna have like a whole section for new stuff so this is from my most recent fall haul if you want to see any of this I'll have that video linked down below so we're gonna skip that for now you can go watch that if you want to see all my new stuff these are my long sleeves so here I have like flannels and any type of long sleeve shirt so like just basic black long sleeve we've got with a piece of cat hair on it Ooh cute but yeah so those are all my long sleeves and then right here we just have one that says outerwear i didn't really know what else to title this because this is like my hoodies and my crew necks so first we have all of my hoodies sitting here boring boring we've got this hoodie that is from trisha paytas's merch that i got when i first started youtube and i was obsessed with it so i kind of don't want to get rid of it this is like a sweater dress from pretty little thing i have a code for 40 percent off in the description or a link rather if you want 40 percent off of your purchase gotta have that a rose merch link down below am i right this is actually like my favorite crew neck i'm not even just saying it because it's mine but i absolutely love this crew neck i don't know why i'm like this is like my baby Ooh, baby merch all the merch kiki baby j merch this i got from one of those really cheap chinese wholesale websites i'm not sure which one it was it has to be like either rose gal or zoffel or like one of those random websites i'll try and find it if i can um when i got it in the middle though it literally like fell apart until i washed it and then it was fine but i didn't put it in the dryer because then it would probably shrink so I really like it, but it did fall apart when I first got it. But now it's fine. Now it's just cozy. Next category we've got here is sweaters. It's kind of hard to see because Zane's stuff kind of like hangs down. It's not a big deal, but yeah. This is all of my sweaters. So we've got all of my cardigans first. And then these, a lot of people ask me about these. These are like distressed um, kind of crop frayed sweaters. These are from Zoffel, so I'll have those linked down below if they're still in stock. And then we've got a bunch of other sweaters back here. Moving on to the next category is short sleeves. So we've got some merch 
merch. We've got all of my short sleeve shirts. And then towards the back, I have more merch. This is Zane's merch. Ooh, baby merch. And then in the back of that section, we've got like all of my short sleeve crop tops. And then we've got tanks. It's kind of hard to see, but these are all of my tank tops. I have them in the back now because it's not summer anymore and I'm probably not going to be reaching towards them unless I want to layer it. So we've got just all my tank tops and then it leads into all of my body suits right here. And the last category is, hello, my dress shirts, which is kind of like, I guess, not the proper term for it, but all of like my dressier tops that I would wear out to like fancier things are back here. So yeah, that is the whole bottom row. And then first I will show you, before I move on to anything else, what I have underneath here. So in the back corner here is a wild Bella. Hi, she likes to hide in here. These are all of my swimsuits and cover-ups and stuff like that. I just have them hiding because it's obviously not summer anymore. And then I just have this blanket sitting under here because Bella likes to hide under here. So I might as well give her a little comfy spot even though she's walking by it right now. What the heck? bells over here hiding we've got my snow boots and then a pair of slippers that I don't really wear often and then in the corner here all of like my fuzzy socks or like my high socks or any socks like these that I wear pretty often so they're just like grabbable right there and like I said this side is all of Zane's stuff so he hasn't really organized it yet but that's all his stuff he's got like sweaters and t-shirts and stuff like that also we had to remodel this whole closet and we tried to do it in the most affordable way possible so my dad actually took two by fours and screwed them into the wall and then he took like um, a drill bit. He had like a round drill bit and drilled a hole in here And we actually bought fence piping. I know so weird from Lowe's. Oh, I'm talking too fast Because it's a lot cheaper than buying like stuff that says it's actually four closets So we ended up getting like these big fence poles for like $12 each and we only needed two of them So if we would have bought like closet pole hangers first of all would not have held up with the weight of this definitely wouldn't have and it just would have been super expensive they're probably like 25 or 30 bucks each so if you want to like save some money and you're handy you could do that plus I think it looks kind of cool it's kind of like rustic I guess I don't know so then we'll move on to this side over here we added two little tiers and there were shelves over there and we also added two tiers of hangable stuff because we do have a dresser over here so we wanted to get as much hanging space as possible so over here I just have my pants not gonna go too crazy in depth but I have like just some of my favorite jeans these are my petite ASOS jeans jeans that I talk about all the time that are my favorite things ever so I have them very accessible right in the front and then we've got my mom jeans from forever 21 which are also one of my favorites so again right in the front I also to save some room I double hanged on these hangers because they're like super wide so I could fit two pairs of jeans on them so if you guys want to like save some room in your closet there you go and then back here are like my pleather leggings and my sweatpants and then down underneath I just have some more sweatpants sitting here these are like those old sweatpants that you've had for a while since like sixth grade but they're like super comfy from Victoria's Secret and they're ginormous but they're like good for like the day that you get your period you know so I just have them kind of hiding and then right next to it I just have this little plastic bin that you can pull out and these are my leggings under here these are not all of them a lot of them are clean sitting in the basket over there this all definitely isn't final either I'm still kind of deciding where I want to put everything but for now this is how it is and it's working pretty well so moving right along above that we have some of my summer stuff which I don't know if I'm gonna store away yet so I can fit more like winter fall stuff but we'll see for now, I just made everything kind of fit and work. So over here, we have like my shorts, my skirts, everything of that nature. And then we've got rompers and dresses and stuff like that. Up here, Zane just has some of his hats. And then we've also got like our hand steamer, which is amazing. I'll link that down below. If you're like trying to run out of the house, but you have like wrinkles in your shirt, you just turn that on real quick and steam your shirt and it takes super quick. And then right next to it, I just screwed two screws in the wall so I can hold my purses. I am not a person that changes my purse every single day. I keep the same one on mostly, but I just have these two sitting right here and then I have another little backpack and that's about it. So I'm not a purse person at all. I would much rather have more clothes than purses or shoes. I'd rather have shoes than purses for sure. And then on this one, we have our belts. So Zane just has like two belts, I'm pretty sure. He's like wearing one right now maybe. I'm not too sure, but this is Zane's. And then these two are mine. I'm not a big belt person at all either so I just have two basic ones and that's basically it for our purses and belts we just have them hanging there on screws super easily over here is Zane's stuff so he's got his shorts and pants up here and then down here he's got all of his winter coats and bombers and jackets and stuff like that he also has some stuff mixed in over here though so I'm not really sure how he wants to organize it yet so we'll see and then over here we've got our hamper that I have just tucked away this was actually my old closet before
before I moved and it was brown like wood so we painted it white to match the closet and then we added shelves to make it a shoe shelf so that we have way more shoe space because we have way too many so down here I just have my two um, high boots that go like super high up on the leg for fall and winter these loafers I absolutely love they're like a light blush pink which is so different for me these are from just fab I'll have those linked down below as well above there we've got my booties these are from Old Navy I don't know if I actually love these I would prefer ones that go a little bit higher but for now they work and then we've got my black ones these I got from H&M a really long time ago and they're my absolute favorite black booties ever they are the comfiest things ever I'm obsessed with these these are from like one of those wholesale websites again I couldn't find them I tried to in a vlog last week and I couldn't so I'll link something similar above there we've got some heels and wedges these are kind of like the only heels and wedges that I own surprisingly I don't really wear them very often so I just have some basic ones these are my absolute favorite I did not really get to wear these but I'm obsessed with them these are by Sam Edelman they are so cute they tie up in the front they like lace up and they have these cutouts I love these next to that I just have your basic heel with the front strap so we've got them in nude in like a pleather and then these are black these are like a faux suede so cute I love just like the basic black strap heel I think it's so cute next to that we've got these these are from just fab as well these are so cute they got like the three straps and then last but not least we've got these um, wedges these are really old so I probably won't be able to find them but these are from forever 21 I don't really love wedges but I love these I love shoes that go high up on the ankle and then they tie around I think they're super flattering so comfortable and then moving right along of that shelf is all Zane shoes and then up there I just have some slides that are for summer that I couldn't fit anywhere else and I feel like might as well just store them up there so there's a few pairs up there and then Zane's like workout tennis sneakers are up there. We're also going to be replacing this light eventually. So if you keep up with the vlogs, you'll see us do some more renovations. This probably isn't the end of the closet. We'll probably like change it up a little bit here and there. But for the most part, this is, this is it. This is our closet. My goal for this closet was to really just keep clothes and shoes in here because in my last closet, I kind of had like way too much going on in there. So now we've just got clothes, purses, belts and shoes and that's all you really need in the closet so i wanted to keep it nice and clean and decluttered on the floor so you can actually walk in here <laughs> so with that being said i think that's going to do it for me today if i forgot anything let me know i'll try to answer as many comments as i can today's notification shout out goes to kylie lambert thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of the notification squad if anyone else would like a notification shout out comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video don't forget to go download poshmark with the link down below and use my code Alyssa rose for five off and if you have any stuff in your closet that you've been wanting to get rid of just go throw it up on Poshmark and try and sell it Why not? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys